This is a steam brake cylinder off a Sentinel steam wagon. Basically what it is, it's a cylinder with a piston that goes in this end. You put steam on that end, it pushes the piston along and puts the brakes on. Unfortunately it's got a crack in it along there. It's probably been left with water in, frozen up and cracked it. It's very very thin wall thickness, I reckon that's no more than 2 to 3 mil thickness. And the only way to repair this will be to braze it. I'm going to clean up with a wire brush and just put a layer of brass along the top of there. I can't dig it out, I can't go through there because I don't want to damage the bore inside. I wouldn't imagine the piston will come all the way up here. But it's, uh, it is it is leaking steam so it's going to have to be repaired one way or another. I've got a wire brush and a drill, I'll give it a good clean up and then so we can get it braced up. I'm not a health and safety preacher, but please, when you're using a wire brush and uh, a grinder, use one of them. Six seconds. Crack goes from basically there to there, you can see it. I'll put some heat on, and you'll probably see it better as the oil boils out of it. That looks good. One little mark there, I want to fill that in.
I'm going to include a bit of film. Um, it was I was trying to make an extractor work for the plasma table. It, it didn't work very well. I'm going to put it in anyway. Uh, but what I have done, I've been in touch with Banggood, and Banggood actually do a big extractor fan. So they're going to send us one of them. I'll do a demo on it. I get to keep the fan, and hopefully it's going to suck all the poisonous gases away from the plasma table. Anyway, I hope you enjoy the little bit of film. Uh, it was just a bit jewelry rig stuff. I wasn't really going to going to show it, but I haven't done that much filming this week, so I'm going to put it in just to sort of make a little bit of time up. As you have seen in earlier videos, the plasma table is working fine now. The one problem I've got with the plasma table is the amount of fumes it makes. It has got a water table, there's water in here, which does take away a lot of the smoke, but there's still a lot of smoke in the air, and it's not good for you. What I have got is this extractor fan. I got this from Ortec when I got the original table, and I haven't used it. It really does, it's got a lot of stuff, it really has got some, it really has got some power. So what I'm thinking of doing is mounting this up on the wall, probably going straight outside, and reducing the diameter of this down, take that size ducting, the ducting will be hung from the ceiling and mounted near the torch, and hopefully that will pull all the, the horrible smoke away. I need to make an adapter to go from that, down to that tube. The tube's 100mm nominal, and this is in size 110. That can just it'll just lie in there with probably some tags welded on and a couple of screws in, and I can weld a hundred mil tube in the centre, and that should sleeve me down to that down to that size. I'm going to lose some performance, but it, it, that's just too big to have that size ducked on the uh, actual machine. But that fan really does does move air, so hopefully it'll it'll do the job. It's going to be simple enough to make that I'll do a little drone and I'll cut the, the 100 mil hole in the centre and then make that what our size that was. I'm reading the ruler the wrong way around. <laughs> around. Right, that's 190 mil. So 190 mil in there, it's 200 already. 190 mil, that will fit in there quite nicely. Right, we're all set to cut this out. I'm going to set the machine up to do the drone. Right, we're going to cut this out and fits in there very nicely. Turn the fan on. Right, that, that's all from something. I think the reason is that's going to have to be on the end of there. It's not allowing the fan to do the work when I fall away in, so I need a big just put them fit on that outside. So if we make it 100, and we make it 10 mil bigger all the way around, it'll fit on those lobes there. That's going to be better anyway. And we'll do another drone and we'll cut another one. Right, I've drawn it 15 mil bigger all the way around. It's all ready to go. Try it again. That's definitely better. I'll just put three screws into there. Just three bolts in the corners. That's definitely something a lot more because obviously the fans working. Got more I had to work on.
talking of using today. I wanted to screw it up into there, so it's actually in there quite securely. So I think we can duly rig this and give it a little try and see if it actually does remove the smoke. a couple of clamps on there make sure that's a, as good a seal as we possibly can get. That's, that's got quite a lot of pull there, it's stopping quite hard. Right, I've got something duly rigged up. <laughs> literally on sky hooks just to give it a try to see if the concept's going to work I'm going to cut a, a car out so it's quite a bit of cutting time we'll turn it on see what what actually happens Not having the sort of effect I would have expected. A lot of the smoke that's getting blown down under the table, under the table. Uh, the smoke's coming. That's not working. That is smoke coming out of the fan, but not to the extent I would have expected. See the smoke up in the roof there, that's not, 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 not doing it though. I'm going to recognise that one. Once again, it's just time to say thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing, and as always, a massive thanks for all the well wishes that coming in towards my dad, who was doing very well, incidentally. He's, um, he's hoping to move middle of next week uh, to another home sort of thing. And then after that, we're well, going to try and get him a shot of accommodation, which is going to be really good for him, just what he needs. Anyway, thanks for watching.